Hey guys, and the call I have for you today, I took a trip out into the country and I figured I would show you part of my trip. It's a nice little drive. Here we go. <music> come on but I did not that's not doing anything I hope it's nothing serious eventually yeah once they get to a certain point they um you know little things start to fail like capacitors and relays. All right, let's see. I got no power. Wait a minute. I got a hundred and twenty volts. I got two forty. I think you are suffering from a burnt contactor. Kind of threw me off there for a second. Yeah. And I got one of those on the truck. That thing's falling apart. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to find a breaker. All right, we killed power at the breaker. Let's see if it helps if I turn on my meter. Got no power. All right, let's look at this. And that broke when I was just messing with it. I hate those disconnects, by the way. All right, let's get to doing this contactor. How about that? All right, here's my contactor. I might fast forward through doing the contactor. We'll see. All right, so even though I tried not to blow a fuse, I blew a fuse. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to make a trip under the house. Check my wiring, all my blacks go on one side. 
This is going to be my run so it feeds my capacitor. Run winding. And this is start. This is common. Common for condenser fan motor. So that's good. We got to work on that. Lovely. Well, I ain't got to worry about that. <clears throat> Those disconnects are just plain dangerous in my book. I don't like them. They get hot, the plastic melts. They're hard to put in and line back up. Alright, so got those disconnected. That looks like PVC. That fits in there, but obviously it was not <clears throat> fully in there. Let's get a a proper seal tight connector. I hope I've got one on my truck because I'm out in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> This is the last disconnect I got on my truck. All right. Well, let me see. I think I'm gonna put some tap cons in that. Thank you. 
Well, I thought I could just drill through that. I think this is hardy plank with the tap cons, but I wasn't able to do that. <clears throat> Let's see, I need these and these. There is something behind me. I think it's that screw right there. It's just eating me up. fit anytime you do this because the wires are in different places you worry if they're going to be long enough you can always extend them but if you don't have to that is much preferable seal tight connector that's not what I'm wanting to do I gotta knock my holes. If any of y'all have ever wondered what a plug nickel is and somebody said that's not worth a plug nickel, that's what a plug nickel is. I think that back in the day they used to actually take those knockouts and try to buy Pepsis and stuff from vending machines. out too big of a hole no just right
right, let's uh, let's first route this ground to right here. The number 10. Now we get to replace that fuse. fuse it ain't on that board Now for that trip home. All right, so that was actually a nice little call. If I hadn't blown the fuse, it would have been just perfect. Now I get to take that long trip back home. It's actually a nice little ride. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.